All right, let's check this out. You are riding here. I finally reblocked my first shot. So let's check this out. Yeah, it's been a while, so it's kind of neat to see this with, you know, somewhat fresh eyes. And my impression right now is that there's almost too much camera movement, but there's something where we feel almost too high. There's a lot of empty space here where you can bring it a bit lower. And I think it's almost like you have too much touching to go, you know, where you you twist your camera around. If you start in this angle, um, right, and then you end up in this, where that could be reduced a little bit. This was overall a bit too much on the camera. And even the handheld, in terms of the, the up and down, feels a bit crazy. Uh, R uh, or X. It's a bit much. There's something about toning it down. And in terms of the animation, it feels like the beginning could be stronger in terms of um, a, like the initial start off is very almost default, except for this hand. It feels like almost like a default pose. Same thing with, with this little guy. And then you get into a lower position, but then nothing happens here. And then it's the jump off. And then the jump off uh, doesn't have any extended legs like your feet are here so by this frame they would still be back there and you would have you have to have a full extension push off for a jump but what i mean is that like at the beginning it could be something where potentially the dragon you know, there could be a higher it could be a higher position do some of that wings are out maybe it's just having like it's standing on its back legs almost and doing something and then comes down into position like this, lands, and after that, there's a slight roar up. I think they're posturing, basically. And then when he goes down, ready for the jump, it's just a more exaggerated um, arms back. Maybe maybe his ass is up, and he has like a really low head to really get into, really a, a squash to get ready for then a push-off. And the contact-wise, this guy seems so much bigger than him or her, so that when they contact, I'm not quite buying that the dinosaur can push them, you can push them back up. It's almost like this frame would end up with the dinosaur actually, you know, almost leaning back, tail curled in. Uh, you know, it, the head could still be up here, and if I could draw, it would be helpful. But like, it's just it's just a move back, and then the dragon continues to push this way, meaning. Again, it's drawing his knife. But that dragon, boom! I go here, from here to here, the chest doesn't do anything. And I would continue, whoops, uh, continue with that so that actually, you know, the dragon shoulder will be here. And it really pushes forward, like, because of the impact, the, the legs kind of kick forward. And the, the dinosaur would have to head up here and get pushed back with the feet still kind of staying there. Like, there would be a very distinct pressure over to the screen right area i don't know i could be totally off but those are the things that kind of struck me, uh, struck me when i was watching this again not by buying the contact here the posing is a bit defaulty and the anticipation could be bigger it could be just more going on with the dragon this feels <clears throat> just a bit timid i guess i do like the timing of the jump and and the rest there i just think in terms of physics and momentum it wouldn't be like this. It would be the opposite where the dragon, uh, the dinosaur is leaning back because the dragon is going forward. Again, this makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.